A projectile is shot straight up, leaving the ground at 30 meters per second. If air resistance is ignored, what will be the speed of the object when it reaches a height of 15 meters? So here in a given box, we indicate that the initial velocity is 30 meters per second. Gravity, as we know, is 9.8 meters per second squared. The initial height is 0 meters and the final height is 15 meters. The heat energy is 0, so what will be the final velocity? Here in a diagram, we indicate that this projectile is leaving from the ground, so the initial height is 0 meters. It shot straight up with a velocity of 30 meters per second. So when it reaches a height of 15 meters, what will be the velocity? To solve this question, we need to use the law of conservation of energy, which is the initial potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy will equal to the final potential energy plus the final kinetic energy plus the heat energy, which also means mass times gravity times the initial height plus half times mass times initial velocity squared will equal to mass times gravity times final height plus half times mass times final velocity squared plus heat energy. Now since we're trying to find what the final velocity is, we need to isolate the variable Vf. Therefore, after we isolate the variable Vf, we should come to a result of square root 2 times gravity times initial height plus initial velocity squared minus 2 times gravity times the final height minus heat energy. Now we can plug in all the numbers. So once we do that, you should come up with square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared times 0 meters plus 30 meters per second squared minus 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared times 15 meters minus 0. So after computing this, we should come up with an answer of 2 times 10 to the power of 1 meters per second Notice that it's to one sig fig because it's the lowest um, sig fig here is one sig fig from 30 meters per second. Now we do a unit check. So meter over second squared times meter plus meter over second squared minus meter over second squared times meter minus zero all under the square root, so we come up with square root of meter squared over second squared, which leads us to meters over second, which is correct.